Now, as I'm sure you know, schools in England and Wales reopen this week following Scotland and Northern Ireland, where pupils first returned three weeks ago. But questions remain on whether all children should be wearing masks, given that Scotland and Northern Ireland have made them compulsory for secondary pupils in communal areas, in areas where they can't social distance easily. Well, Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, joins me now. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I really, I really appreciate it. And, then, and from today, as we said, masks will be worn in areas where children can't social distance. How important do you think that's going to be what sort of difference do you think that's going to make? I hope it will make a difference in helping to minimise the risks of transmission. We're very clear, face coverings are not a substitute for all the other things we think it's important to do, like have good hand hygiene and clean hard surfaces after you touch them and where you can to physically distance from people in other households. But we know because the way the virus transmits, having a face covering, if you have the virus, perhaps you don't know because you don't have symptoms, it reduces your chance of transmitting it to other people. And of course, if others are wearing a face covering, that helps give you some protection. So we think it's important. We've mandated it in shops, on public transport, and now, as you say, in secondary schools, uh, we are advising the wearing of face coverings when uh, young people or adults are in communal areas or in corridors where it's just a bit more difficult to keep physically distant. And we think that's important for all children over the age of five on school transport, just as on public transport, we're also saying that face coverings should be worn. It's really interesting because you seem to be setting the agenda here. You know, the UK government at first not following your lead and then doing these screeching U-turns. You know, we've talked about it, about masks, exams, school meals over the summer. Is that sort of the plan in a way to cause, I guess, maximum embarrassment to the UK government? Look, nothing could be further from my mind right now. And, you know, I'm sure there are critics of mine out there who want to believe the worst of me. But we're in a global pandemic dealing with an infectious virus. And every single day right now, all I occupy myself with are the discussions and the decisions about how we keep people as safe as possible. It's the only thing driving uh, my decision making and the decision making of the Scottish Government, trying to do the right things, recognising given how unprecedented this situation is that we won't always get things right. Also recognising that we're learning all the time about this virus, so it's really important not to uh, have things cast in stone, have the ability to be flexible and adapt. And, you know, every leader of every government everywhere is grappling with the same challenges right now. We're all trying to do our best. And I think we should be trying to learn from each other as much as possible. So, you know, now more than at any other time in my whole political career, political considerations are not what are driving the, the decisions I've taken, certainly not any party political considerations. And I Except some people might not want to believe that, but I, I think the majority of reasonable people will understand that that's the situation that we are in. It's interesting what you say, though, because Boris Johnson has actually been up in Scotland. I don't suppose that he popped in. And uh, I also don't suppose that he's been in touch with you to get your experience, particularly over schools, because, you know, Scottish schools have been back for a couple of weeks. So how much contact is there between both of you? Because it would make perfect sense to share information. It does. And, you know, there are contacts between the Scottish government, the UK government, in fact, all four governments of the UK at, at different levels. Our respective officials will speak, you know, on a whole range of things on a daily basis, probably multiple times a day. There are four nations discussions for the UK government. Michael Gove often leads them and I and the other first ministers take part in them. Uh, on occasion, perhaps not as often as, as maybe there could be, there are discussions involving the Prime Minister. Um, so there are discussions. We are all, though, respectively responsible for the things that are within our areas of competence, public health, health protection, making sure that we are doing all the right things to guide Scotland through the pandemic. They are the responsibilities of the Scottish Government and it's important we are accountable for those decisions and take the decisions we think are best and, and share experiences and learning where we can, I, I said, and it's a statement of the obvious, right at the outset, this is a virus. It doesn't respect borders or boundaries. It doesn't particularly care which leader is in government in any particular area that it is transmitting in. So we've got to take the best decisions we can and work together as effectively as we can. But fundamentally, I'm responsible for trying to guide Scotland through this. So I've got to take the decisions I think are right, regardless of what Boris Johnson or anybody else uh, might decide to do. Well, unlike the Westminster government, you're still doing your daily briefings. Um, you haven't taken a, a holiday. I know you've got a major announcement later today about plans for the, the next few months. And like, as I say, you haven't taken a holiday. Do you think he was wrong 
to, to take some time off? I mean, I know he spent his holiday in, in, in Scotland, which was, uh, you know, a, a good decision. But do you think that he was wrong to take time off? And, <laughs> and, and I just wonder how you are, you are doing with not having had any rest at all. You just keep going. Um, I think, listen to that question, my mother, uh, I'm suspecting my mother's been on the phone to you to, to ask me about that. But um, look, we all have to take our own decisions. I'm, I'm not going to criticise other leaders. We're all trying to navigate our way through a really difficult situation. I'm very mindful of the fact that Boris Johnson was in intensive care with COVID earlier in the year. He's also got a very young baby. I'm not going to criticise the decisions he takes uh, about his individual uh, life and, and holidays and, and time off and... Uh, what he does with that. I I'll take my decisions, and some people might think they're right, some people might think uh, they're wrong. This is certainly the biggest challenge I've uh, gone through as First Minister. It's the biggest challenge uh, the country has gone through in, in my lifetime and in the lifetimes of most of us. I think my place uh, literally every day is here in the headquarters of the Scottish Government doing uh, my best to steer the country and everybody who's playing such a huge part in that through these difficult challenges. And, and that's the choice I make um, at this time and, and others will make their own decisions. Nicola, thank you for joining us. Uh, listen to your mum though. Thank you. <laughs> Take some time to yourself as well. So it's <laughs> very, do. very, it's Always. very important. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of The Rain on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.